Okay, this story is really special to my family. Um, so the first reason is we are we had a family door key, and somebody bought you know those little bead filled geckos. It was a little gecko made of fabric, but it was filled with sand, actually not beads. Um, and it was green, and we called it the name of the alligator in here. Uh, her name is Bridget. Um, so we would say in our family, well, where's Bridget? I'm coming to visit. Where's Bridget? Oh, Bridget's hidden in the, and she'd be, my mom could always tell, you know, she's hidden in the top drawer of the outside filing cabinet on the side of the house, da, 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 da. Or she's hidden under such and such a rock or whatever. Uh, so my family's house key, the hidden house key was named Bridget or the gecko, which wasn't really an alligator, but we called it Bridget after this book. And then, um, my sister, my older sister, her first son, their last name is Zeller. Um, and they, so they've been doing Z names with their children. So she named her son Zach and she decorated his room with alligators. So this book is just part of like the culture of my family in some ways. So after that introduction, here is Zach's alligator. And obviously well loved by her children. For Sally, Nancy, Nina, and Uncle Alfred. A big box came in the mail for Zach. It was from Zach's Uncle Jim in Florida. Zach shook the box. What could it be, he wondered. He untied the bow and ripped off the paper. There was another box inside. Zach lifted the lid. Inside was an alligator keychain with a note from Uncle Jim. It said, Dear Zach, here is a present for you. Have fun. Love your Uncle Jim. P.S. Water Bridget. Zach held up the keychain. This must be Bridget, he said. Zach put Bridget in the sink and turned on the faucet. Bridget began to move. Her head turned, her tail curled. Bridget grew bigger and bigger. Soon she filled the sink. Zach moved Bridget to the tub and turned on the shower. Bridget stretched and sighed. That feels so good, she said. Zach watched. Bridget grew larger and larger. She grew out of the tub and over the side. Bridget moaned and groaned and whipped her tail. She splashed water everywhere. What's going on in there? called Zach's mother. I'm watering the alligator, said Zach. Alligator? What alligator? The one Uncle Jim sent. Oh, consequently, my father's name is Jim. But he would be Grandpa Jim, I guess. Uh, he heard his mother laugh. I see, she said. Well, clean up when you're done. I will, said Zach. Right. Bridget crawled out of the tub and onto the floor. I'm hungry, she said. Do you have any fish? I don't know, said Zach. Let's go see. Bridget followed Zach down the stairs and into the kitchen. Zach opened the refrigerator door. No fish, said Bridget. No, no fish, but here's some meatloaf. I can fix you a meatloaf special. What is that? asked Bridget. A surprise, said Zach. I love surprises, said Bridget. Bridget went into the living room and stretched out on the sofa. The sofa shook. Bridget looked at the TV. What a funny looking box, she said. Then she hollered to Zach. Hurry up with the food. I'm coming, said Zach. He was making his meatloaf special. Meatloaf, peanut butter, mustard, banana, and a couple of pickles. Zach, what are you doing? asked his mother. I'm fixing some meatloaf for Bridget. Who's Bridget? The alligator, said Zach. Of course, said mother. Well, save some for dinner. I will, said Zach. Bridget ate every bite of Zach's meatloaf special. Delicious, she said. I have never eaten anything like that before. Back home in the glades, I eat mostly fish and snakes and slugs. Suddenly, Bridget jumped up from the sofa. Time for a walk, she said. Bridget wobbled to the door. Zach followed. Bridget's long tail knocked over a chair and some books off a table. Zach picked up the chair and the books. We're going out, Mom, he called. We? she asked. Uh, oh yes, you and Bridget. I forgot. Well, don't be too long. 
Outside, Bridget was wrestling with a garden hose. I will get you, she growled. She gave the hose a big bite. Water squirted everywhere. Zach turned off the water. That snake will not bother anyone ever again, said Bridget. Zach sighed and shook his head. Bridget took off down the sidewalk. Zach followed. Just then, the mailman pulled up in his truck. What is that? cried Bridget. Zach, uh, before Zach could answer, answer, Bridget attacked. She bit the tire of the truck. Air hissed out. Dogs are bad enough, shouted the mailman, but I cannot handle this. No, sir, not alligators. The mailman jumped back into his truck and drove away with a flat tire. Clump, 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 clump. Bridget shook her head. I'm glad we don't have those in the glades, she said. Zach tried to say something, but Bridget was off again. They came to the park. Bridget wanted to swing, and after that she climbed the monkey bars, and then she jumped on the seesaw. Zach had never seen someone seen anyone seesaw by herself. Next, Bridget ran to the merry-go-round. Round and round she went. Bridget began to sing, Oh, I'm a gator from the glades, and I can do anything, and I mean anything. Bridget got so dizzy she fell off the merry-go-round. Zack helped Bridget up. Just then, his best friend, Turk, rode up on his bicycle. Hey, Zack! Hey, said Turk. Where did you get that alligator? From my Uncle Jim, said Zack. Some uncle, Turk said. Suddenly, Bridget shouted, What's that fuzzy-wuzzy? The woman took one look at Bridget and picked up her dog. Come on, Poopsie, let Mama take you home. I never understood that transition. Oh, she's looking at the puppy dog there. Bridget did a cartwheel. Who would want that fuzzy wuzzy anyway? She said, I'm thirsty, not hungry. Bridget did a quick one, two, and hop skip to the fountain. She drank big gulps of water. Zack and Turk watched. Will you bring Bridget to school? asked Turk. I don't know, said Zack. A policeman came over. You need a leash for that alligator, he said. There's a law, you know. Yes, sir, said Zack. The policeman frowned. Well, keep him under control. Him, cried Bridget. Well, I beg his pardon. How rude. Hasn't he ever seen a girl gator before? You should bring her to school, said Turk. Maybe, said Zack. Zack and Turk rode Bridget around the park. Suddenly, Bridget started to shrink. I need more water, she said. Zack and Turk helped her to the fountain. Bridget slurped the cool water. This place is too dry, she said. In the glades, there's plenty of water and moss and tall grass. What are the glades, asked Turk. The Everglades, said Zack. They're in Florida, where my Uncle Jim lives. Do you think he would send me an alligator, asked Turk. I don't know, said Zack. I'll ask him. That'd be great, said Turk. We have to go now, said Zack. Don't forget to bring Bridget to school, yelled Turk. Oh, please, Bridget said to Zack. I want to see what school is like. We will see, said Zack. On the way home, Bridget was shrinking more and more. She looked up at Zack with big, shiny alligator eyes. Will you water me again, she asked. I will water you every day, said Zack. Good, said Bridget. Bridget was getting smaller and smaller. She bobbed her head up and down and began singing. I'm a gator from the glades, and I like to have fun every day. Oh, yeah. When they got home, Bridget was keychain size. Zack put her safely in his pocket. Hello, said Zack's father. Your mother said you were out with an alligator. With the alligator. May I see it? Yes, sir, said Zack. Zack pulled out the keychain the small, with a small alligator hanging from it. That's very nice, said his father. Now go wash up for dinner. Zack went upstairs to his room. He could hear his mother tell his father they would have chicken for dinner instead of meatloaf. Are you all right? whispered Zack. Never better, Bridget said. She yawned. Don't forget to water me tomorrow. I won't, said Zack. Zack put Bridget back in his pocket. Zack, called mother, dinner's ready. I'm coming, Zack called back. 
Zack felt Bridget move. He patted his pocket and smiled. 